we're $2.7 million uh, short. Laptops, pens, and pencils all served as scalpels as Prairie Rose School Division trustees and administration carved out space in an already shrinking budget. Everything was on the table. First of all was transportation covered by the division for over a decade. Starting next school year, Redcliffe parents who live within town will have to pay for bus service. Families who live 2.4 kilometers away from school are still covered by the province, but after financial woes, Prairie Rose has pulled their bus funding and will charge Redcliffe parents $200 per student per year, up to a maximum of $450 for three riders. Next on the chopping block was the calendar year itself. Trustees voting unanimously to take students out of the classroom six days next year, but vowed the actual number of hours in front of teachers will not change. And still, more cuts loom. With all the cuts that we're looking at this year, I mean, our kids are going to suffer. And this is the, this is the, the future of our province. Transportation and programs are not the only areas falling victim to cavernous provincial rollbacks in education. In hopes of saving seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars, the superintendent and deputy superintendent of Prairie Rose are taking pay cuts. Number three, I believe. Commanding his grade twelve class at Eagle Butte High, Scott Rabel represents the most serious cuts to come. He's a young teacher one who could be lost as the division expects to shave 20 positions. I think it is dangerous and I, I do hope that uh, parents and stakeholders write their MLA just to let them know how important it is to them to have continuous funding for education because our students are worth it. We want to maximize the number of teachers in front of students. So our goal is to go through every line in our budget, line by line, to ensure that happens. Saying that, we need an adjustment and we remain hopeful that will occur. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.